Israeli farmers based in the West Bank's Jordan Valley saw their annual exports drop by $29 million in 2013, a 14% decline from the previous year. The farmers and their Palestinian workers have been hit by EU restrictions on the trade of settlement goods, resulting in Western supermarkets taking peppers, dates, grapes and herbs from the Jordan Valley off their shelves. In a few years, or even this or next year, uh, we won't be able to sell to any uh, European community uh, our product, and then we will need to find other places to do that or to decide to step out of it. The farmers say they will stay in the Jordan Valley, but are willing to leave if required by a peace accord. It will break my heart if, if we'll leave for nothing. Uh, if it will be for a peace treaty and for a greater good, it won't break my heart. Not for one second. I will not have even a second, so a second thought about living here if it's going to be for a, a peace treaty uh, uh, with, with our neighbours. I will, I will cherish that. During recent peace talks between the Israelis and Palestinians, U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry proposed that Israel maintain military control of the West Bank's border with Jordan for at least 10 years. However, both sides publicly criticized Kerry's plan, with Israel citing concerns over security. Being uh, here in the Jordan uh, Baca, in the Jordan Valley, it's, it's something existential. The national security of Israel is based on defensible borders, not on boycotts, etc. So I see the disadvantages, I do see the problem. I hope very much that people will understand. The peace talks have a nine-month deadline, which expires in late May this year. Kerry has been pressing both sides to commit to extending the deadline for at least another six months, although no decision has yet been made. The top US diplomat has been widely praised for visiting the Holy Land ten times in the past year.